Are you want to make like an official starter? <laughs> yeah, speak? yeah. Okay. I've been All recording, right. but yeah, let's let's oh, do I, it. I know. I told you to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's going on, guys? Blame truth here, the Godfather himself, and uh, who do who do we have here? Who who is this? What's up, ladies and gents? The other Godfather here, Excelsior's <laughs> bringing you some. Good old fashioned dual com. Man, it's like, like it's did back in the good old days. It's t it's 2009 all over again. Let me tell you, 2009. Yeah, we have much better microphones and uh, yeah, actual personality. Oh, back in the day, yeah, we were just uh, low, lowly early twenty somethings, not knowing what the fuck and do. So like, <laughs> we got nothing to make a video that on. Pasty and. Yeah. I'm not, not really sure of our stuff. Like, I've gone back to click on some of those old MWT. Like, remember the Afghan Quadcom? How could I forget? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he was like, so, uh, Bruce, how'd you get that Golden Desert Eagle? I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, man. It's not a little more lively than that, but, uh, like, going back and listening to the old stuff is <clears throat> real rough. I, I, I said in a recent video, I was like, if you go back and watch my Black Ops 2 videos, like, you know, I'm, I'm always positive. Like, I was, I was very positive with that game. But, like, don't do it, because the commentary is fucking terrible. Like, it's it's just <laughs> horrendous. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty proud of my work in Black Ops 2. I'll have to yeah, go back and watch it. I got a lot of it. nice rage clips out of that. That's beautiful. Oh, okay. Man, I'll have to go back and watch it. happen anymore. I had a few... Funny, funny videos, funny bangers. I uh, had a series where like I, I had like pro tips or whatever. That was like the big thing, and it was just like <laughs> go back. Oh, I, yeah. Well, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. If there's one old school pro tip video you can watch. <laughs> I think you know which one I'm talking about. Ah, uh, with the pain kill and the grenade launcher. Mm-hmm. The MW2 <laughs> era. Yeah, yeah. Robotic rage quit. Those rage quits were, were things of beauty. The the one in World at War is still my favorite, where you, uh, kn <laughs> you knock the guy in the last stand <laughs> and you go to knife. He dies, yeah, as he dies, as I'm going, man, I made that video like 14 years ago. It's just the fastest rage quit I've ever seen, like to this day. Honestly, if you saw if you saw that today, you you'd think that was done with a macro, and you'd probably be right. <laughs> you have you have your fucking uh, macro key set up to quit out of Call of Duty. I I, I don't know, man. That was good stuff. Um, but yeah, but long long well, story right, short. I mean, we, we, yeah, we, we ain't here to conversate about the past. Yeah, yeah, long story I short. We can, we can, if, if that's where it goes. But. Old commentary sucks. Uh, new commentary is better, <laughs> you know. Yada, yada. So. Yeah, now that we're older, wiser, and uh, angrier. Yeah. Oh, I'm de definitely angrier, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely angrier. Um, How can you not be? It's uh, it's travesty, but hey, man, you lead the you lead the way here. You have the floor. Well, shit. I mean, I've been playing Warzone too. <laughs> Where do you want to begin? My God. Uh, yeah, you know, this is great because I don't play it, so we get that perspective. Have you tr have you played DMZ yet? Uh, I was in a position to last Saturday to try it out, but I wanted to play a little ground war to level up some stuff for Warzone, and I made it like. Five minutes in the playing ground war was, you know, I'm gonna go play Overwatch instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I got, I got killed, I got killed. Well, everyone gets killed, but I got, yeah, yeah. I got down in in, in a ground war. But oh, I, I got sniped. Sounds about right. Everyone snipes in ground war. No, it was a guy spraying an AR at me. Oh, yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I was like, wait, a guy spraying an AR? Like it was an A. It wasn't a battle rifle. I didn't get one tapped or two tapped. Like it just it just sprayed. It's like, but on my end, the feedback made it look and feel like I had gotten sniped in the head. Yeah. I mean, there's there's one thing that's really wrong with this game is, is the feedback on the client side. It's yeah. Sometimes it seems like I it seems like I got sniped and I didn't at all. Um, I, I'm sure that's just the you know we can chalk that up to fucking <laughs> the 1995 Quake netcode they've like they're still using probably, but. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's weird, like you know, whenever I shoot someone, like I can distinctly count, like and feel like you know one, two, three, four, five, six. Like yeah, it's, it feels about right. But you know, when I'm on the receiving end, it always feels. Yeah, you know, can't probably can't hear me snap, but it's just like that. Boom, it. you're dead. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's been it's it's been like that since 2019. It's not gotten any better. I was gonna say I I think and, and, and 
I don't know if I did or not. I think I ran into my first hacker uh, on Modern Warfare. And I, I wasn't recording because I was just doing that, you know, the whole, like, I'm just going to play with my fucking headset off and level up. And uh, mm -hmm. this guy was, was like, I, I think I was doing too good at a certain point, even just with no headset. Because <laughs> it put me in some lobby with this dude. And he was, like, uh, just one-shot headshot me with that, that battle rifle. The, um... D three, the fucking whatever. The I mean, it's like either got. or the SPR. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I I've done like three matches of six v six. I'll never play it ever again. Oh, you're just done. You're just, just done. No, I'm, I'm uh, no. It's the multi. I'm I'm sick of it. It's been the same since 2019. God it, damn. There's really not that much difference between then and now, aside from oh, like no. you know it's aesthetic skins and maps, and they all really play the same. No, it's the same fucking game with worse perks. And like a worse unlock system, yeah. Same fucking game. Yeah, and then never forget, like, one of my first matches in the beta, it's like, I get, oh, I, I finally got Ghost, and oh, wait, it's 10 kills to time, or to the score limit. Well, that was a fun 40 seconds I had my final perk. Man, they fucking butchered the, they butchered the balance. Like, it, it's never, I don't know, it's never been a problem before, you know? Like, UAVs always, have always been really strong. It's always been like the go-to fucking streak, and then they decide to make it even stronger by putting ghosts at the end. It just makes no sense. Like some some matches are just shooting UAVs down the entire time. Uh, the entire you could time. you could spend uh, an entire match in ground war doing nothing but shooting UAVs and probably get top score at the end of it just sitting in your spawn. Shit, I'm gonna fucking try <laughs> that. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> That's the. Uh, I don't know. Um, I only play multiplayer. I tried to play DMZ last night with a friend. She does not own the game. She it would boot her out every time. I couldn't even join in progress. She couldn't join in progress. Uh, so there's something really fucked up in this AAA three three thousand devs for years. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that number thrown around three thousand for oh, years. They, they couldn't stop sucking their own dick about it all fucking year. <laughs> three thousand devs, most advanced Call of Duty. We're ahead of schedule. Yeah, did you see? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta text well, you there, something. Well, there's this whole ahead of schedule yet, like, I, I know like, it's for the, for, like, the, the camo challenges, it's all the same. You get, like, three kills in a row, ten times in a row, but in order to actually find that out, you can't just hover over it. You have to hover over the, the one adjacent to it and then arrow key over. Yeah. And that, that tech, oh. most technically advanced game there ever was. The UI is so bad, I hit, I hit down on that fucking like weapon progress screen and it went up i i don't know i just don't know but i i just sent you a uh a text there with an image yeah, i'm looking at it okay read that read that and see see what you think it's proximity the... chat yeah. only in effect for multiplayer allows to <laughs> allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk to him <laughs> That's, that's 3,000. Congratulations, you have completed yeah. a good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hired the fucking Ghostbusters credits crew to uh, write that out. And if you go to the operator bios, they're just unfinished. It's not that you can't scroll down or you're not scrolling down. They're literally fucking unfinished. They'll stop mid-sentence before the end. It's... Maybe they they out they outsource them. Uh, you know they just let Google <sighs> Translate do the translations. Out out came uh, the broken English uh, spit out. Right. I I don't know what, but I hope they never change that. That's <laughs> th that's like in uh, fucking Vanguard. I know I didn't play that piece of shit, but um, it's they'd come out with a new playlist. So there'd be a playlist called Killbox. And I'm like, well, what's that? And I'd read the description, and it'd just be the fucking playlist name pasted. <laughs> so it would just be Killbox, and I'm like, what's this? And it says Killbox. And I'm like, what the fuck does that well, mean? You don't know what Killbox is, you idiot? <laughs> I Googled it's it. Killbox. Everybody I, knows Killbox. Yeah, I Googled it, and, you know, nothing came up. So I'm like, well, all right. And then they would just do that constantly. Some new playlist would come out, and they just put the fucking playlist name in the description. Yeah, so lazy. Filler, filler text. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so go, going awesome. back to Warzone, you'll get a kick out of this. So okay. this has been a bug since the original Warzone. Okay. Verdance, we'll just call it Verdance. Um, 
So there is a bug where at any in any given lobby or match, one of the squad mates, you can have squads up to four, right? Yeah. yeah. And one of those players could have their cash tied to someone else's cash number. Okay. And so you'll be trying to drop cash to, so, you know, like make buys happen, you know, buy gear, loadouts or whatever. But like, wait, I have this cash. I know I do, but I can't drop it because it's tied to someone else's number. And fast forward three years later, that bug is still present. They have <laughs> never fixed it. It has been a problem for three years and it's such a pain in the ass. Really? So they just they, they literally ported the bug over to a whole new like client, essentially. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's how it feels like too. Cause um, right now, uh, well, since last I played, I don't know if they hot fixed anything. All all the matches are ending in the same general area, which is Observatory, which is pretty much near the center of the map and the highest point mm. on the map. So it's like, like uh, there was a point where I like, think you know Verdansk or Caldera at some point or another had that problem. It's like, did they copy and paste code from old builds into their brand new? Warzone 2.0, and you know, with that cash bug being there, it's like, yeah, they probably did. Uh, <laughs> during the beta, I think somebody took a screenshot of like uh, they got it and they got it working, and then they click on the beta and it says like copyright 2019. Like, <laughs> so they they definitely fucking copied and pasted it. Um, they've copied I mean, and there's pasted everything. Wrong with like asset yeah. being reused and no, stuff. No, no. Like, why are we copying pasting bugs and you know we're, we're not the only people who have like had that before like you know other you know copying and pasting and such copying and pasting is one thing do. yeah but copying and pasting bugs like at least clean it up copying and pasting assets and not changing them at all like at least put like a little fake mustache on it you know so we we're kind of fooled but I don't know man yeah and like you know before too it's like I, I, I don't know if you've ever covered it at all but it happened a lot in uh, before Caldera came out. Was the uh, the good old stim glitch, where uh, mm. I think I know what you're talking where about. Where people where people could infinitely use a stim in the gas, and you know, unless you were doing it yourself, it's, you know this asshole would just be in the middle of nowhere, and you just you'd slowly, you know, fucking die. And then it's like you know you call in your UAVs that you could see a guy way out in the middle of nowhere. You, nowhere and you have to ha have enough money to buy an airstrike and maybe you'll be lucky to get him if he's an idiot yeah yeah i saw a lot and about that that, that glitch yep. came back not once <laughs> not twice not thrice <laughs> not 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 four times not five time booker t style six <laughs> times <laughs> it fucking came back and not once did they ever think to like use the vault system that you know fortnite has had for years. Like, of all the things they copy, they don't copy the stuff that could actually be used for good. This bug is gonna fucking overtake Ric Flair for world titles here. For, like, the goddamn just returning, you know, coming back to Call of Duty. It, it, it's... Okay. It, it, has it come back more times than the fucking Riot Shield bug? Do you know about that? Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, when they when they posted, uh, yeah, we've been kind of... Aware about a bug about a certain invincibility glitch involving riot oh shields God. and VTOLs. This has got to be like the eighth fucking time. Because it, it was in goddamn Vanguard. Like, because they copied the fucking MW code <laughs> and put it in that game. So it was yeah, in Vanguard. The, the riot shield on the back has been like the most inconsistent thing there ever was. And it is. I mean, I, I personally can't stand running around the rock because I despise the movement speed, but man, it's like, it, it's impossible to shoot people from some angles and that's been present give since they brought that piece of shit back i don't know why they continue to bring it back because it's it's obvious it's too hard to code for them like something's gonna fuck up with it and plus it's annoying yeah it's like sh sh i'm shooting a fucking turtle it's like, well, what 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 purpose do they envision here is like what what legitimate form of gameplay does the riot shield add other than just being a annoying yeah you're right. It's like, 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 are, are they, are they doing like, you know, like tactical SWAT pushes where you, you know, you get like the fucking three man phalanx formation with three guys with LMGs behind them, slowly pushing up. Like, don't give them ideas, please, because I could see that happening, and that that sounds miserable, <laughs> honestly, especially if they do the fucking invincibility bug. <laughs> so yeah. you can't even kill them. Um, no, it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things. It's like. You know, I I know they try to cater to those milsim nerves. It's but it's realistic, man. Our armed forces use it. Did you ever see SWAT take people down, man? They all get riot shields, bro. Yeah. It's like, 
yeah, that's why I play video games, because real life sucks. I was going to say, go join the fucking military, you goddamn nerd. Like, get, I don't want to do that in the <laughs> in the video game I'm playing. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it boils down to the devs don't play their own game, nor do they care to. And who can blame them? Well, I mean, maybe they do. It's just, you know, oh, they I probably put, put themselves in the, in the whitelist server, where it's actually probably pretty fun. You know what? They might play... The BR mode, they might play like, you know, Ground War and DMZ and all that. I, I'm convinced they don't play multiplayer at all. I, I'm convinced they copy and paste it. They come up with some new gimmick every fucking year. And that's it. So, yeah, so this this year will be the uh, the weapon tuning. The Oh, that doesn't work. The, the overhaul. It works in Warzone. Okay, it does. Yeah, it, it, multiplayer. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they, they disabled it because it was crashing. No, 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 it came back, but it just does oh. No, it literally doesn't work. Like, and what I mean by that oh, is... Okay, so so you get people <laughs> messing with it, and it doesn't even do anything. So, so, so I think... So people are, like, looking up these YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, so this is how you make it really good, huh? I think... Wow, this gun still feels like shit. I think Ace covered it, and, like, he's messing with the sliders, and he does tests after, you know? Because there's no fucking... There's no numbers. Well, like, there's no numbers. It's like a little fucking pixel we got to go off of. To see what changes now. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get the the magnifying glass. You know, you gotta get the uh, you know the that little mag yeah the magnifying glass. Yeah. The, the jewelers. Yeah, use I feel like a document tends to put your face up to the monitors. Yeah, I think I think there's a slight increase in range there by half a half a millimeter. Yeah, uh, he did a test and it's he's like, there's no discernible difference. Like so, I I don't know if it's like placebo most of it. I don't know if they've changed that since he made that video. But it, it barely does anything, and get this shit, alright? On console, on console, there's... <laughs> normally, alright, this is a fine-tuning thing, right? So on PC, you can probably move it with the mouse, and it's it's probably pretty fluid. You can kind of dial it in uh, you want, right? Yeah, alright, yeah, I will yeah. say, that it's, it's annoying to figure out where to get to the weapon weapon tuning, but once you get there, that, that actually does for you. Know, it's, it's a simple drag-and-drop of two bars, right. x-axis and y-axis. It is very simple once you get there. Okay, now, normally, uh, in a good game, you would take into account that this is a, a very fine, finely adjusted movement, right? Like, you want to dial it in Precisely. That's what it's for. It's literally what the goddamn mode is for. Yeah, so I'd say, okay, maybe for con console it'd be easier if it just lets you dial the number in, you know, like .34 or whatever. Right, or maybe numbers. lock it in increments to the D-pad, right? The, the D-pad. Sure. One thing. They have it tied, not to not to the, the joysticks, not, not in both of them, but one. One of them. And we all know joysticks have problems with dead zones and shit, right? So, so you could just be messing with it, and then like the, the bar will be adjusting itself due to the uh, yeah <laughs> whatever yeah. drift may exist. <laughs> yeah, I literally I feel like I'm trying to pick like fly shit out of ground pepper that ABGN line because I can't like and, and then I'm like why why even bother? It doesn't fucking change anything. It barely changes anything. So why bother? It's tied to one stick. Up and down, like up and you know, uh, vertical, horizontal. But it's glitchy as fuck because the dead zones don't work, and you have to go and mess with your dead zones to even. I I don't know. It's just they don't play their own game. Like you play that, like you literally play this fucking. Mo it's not even a mode, but you know, you you play the game. You go into this like little sub mode. You find this this problem in like five minutes. So I'm convinced they just don't play their own fucking game. Uh. No, it's really just sort of a reflection of the uh, state of gaming today. It's like if if this past this this past I don't get confused with these names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if this past Call of Duty released like this fourteen years ago when COD Four came out, it it would have been dead a week later. Oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. But like you know, we we we're so used to games being like this. Like Battlefield has always had this problem. Like Battlefield. 2042 on release day is one of the worst releases I have ever played because bullets were literally not shooting straight. I saw your clips from it, yeah. You would <laughs> you, you shot a dude and it made a cartoony like Bugs Bunny outline around his body. 
Like yeah, the only th the only thing that was missing is like the fucking gun barrel blowing up in my face and leaving <laughs> me with le leaving me with gunpowder all over my my schnoz there. You, know? <laughs> you do the Elmer Fudd thing, and yeah, the gun just blows up in your face. Oh, they made that joke. Fudd would get canceled for blackface. Oh, he would actually. Yes, he would. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a southern hunter, so and he's already got the. And he's already always hunting that duck. Oh, yep. That peculiar colored duck. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. No, no, it's like, like, you know, it's just it's just the way it is. It's you know these these games release half ass, and you know we, we get to deal with it for the next year until it'll probably be in a decent state. Like to go back to Warzone. Like I do feel there's a good foundation there. Yeah. But it needs like six months. I I keep covering this. I'm like the potential. I, I say this every year with every new Call of Duty that comes out. I'm like, MW 2019, Cold War. I even said it with Vanguard. I'm like, this has the potential. And I say that very strongly. Like Vanguard. I'm going to have to pass on that one, dog. Um, maybe I didn't I say like the, it with the, that way, one. the way the movement was in that game was too ice skatey for maps like that tight and narrow. Ice skate. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I like movement, but like the... It the was 40 pretty... foot <laughs> instant slide is for the... on that fucking Eagles House map. Mm, yeah. Like hit, hit, hit Hitler's fucking diner. Oh, I think they nerfed good. that. I think they nerfed that movement. Um, well, I mean, they certainly did with this game. And... Yeah. Oh, it's you, you can't and do now shit. They've in this made, now they've made now they've made it clunky America's army. Uh, it's I don't know what it's. It, there's a certain point where it's like I don't know what the series wants me to do. Because in Black Ops 4, I don't think you played that a lot, like multiplayer oh, wise. I played the shit out of Black Ops 4. Are you, you kidding me? I, it was Blackout. Oh, yeah. It was Blackout. You got sick of. I, no, I, pl I played. Yeah. I played a lot of the multiplayer and a lot of the Blackout. I know eventually and, you got uh, sick of the uh, Blackout because they fucked. Yeah, the well, or because you know, as, as with all things that involve <laughs> David Vonderhart, you know, they start off great, but then they get progressively worse and fucking worse. And he was then, in the know, fucking he, desert. He, he's one man. of those guys who takes like, all the fucking credit <laughs> when everything goes right. Even though he has nothing to do with it, then when everything goes wrong, he needs to go on a mental health break in the fucking desert. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. Um, I still like him, but I, I, he did. Yeah, when we were like, yeah, man, this game sucks. And he's like, I had nothing to do with the multiplayer, man. I was all out, you know, I was uh, working on Blackout or whatever uh, the whole time. Let me let me rewrite for you that, my guy. You'll shout out to everyone who worked hard. Yeah. Just worked hard doesn't mean it came out good. That's not how it works. <laughs> Just because oh. you work hard doesn't mean you get a positive outcome. I saw that same fucking shit on, on uh, Twitter. Like, some somebody was working on... Modern Warfare, uh, Roman numeral 2, and they were like, wow, we worked so fucking hard through a pandemic, three years, and then it comes out with what I sent you in that image, where it's some broken English, you know, piece of shit, and I can't dial in my shit on the gunsmith, and even if I do, it doesn't fucking work. So who, what's the point? You worked hard, but it's shit. You know, like, it, it's like, okay, I can work hard trying to be a basketball player, doesn't mean I'll be a good one, you know? Oh, that's the lesson that I learned early. <laughs> yeah. I can work hard being a football player. Doesn't mean I'm going to be fucking good at it. So, we got to stop giving credit to shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter how hard we work. Sometimes, um, yeah, it's just going to be shit. Yeah, that's the, the times we live in. Yeah, but we worked hard, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, like, that's okay. Like, you can work hard and make a mistake as long as things at least attempt to get better, but... I was going to say, like... Call of Duty, like, getting better takes way too long. I think we are, are, are pretty lenient towards... Um, I think we're pretty lenient towards a lot of issues as long as the game's fun. Like, look at Bethesda games, you know? Like, I love me some Fallout 3, some Fallout New Vegas. Those games are buggy as shit. Like, you know, at the end of the day... The games had character and soul, though. They had character and soul, you know? exactly. They were made the by character people... Character and soul is a rare commodity in modern gaming. Yes. And I could deal I could deal with a lot of bugs. I could. But not when the game's trying to fucking... I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. Like, I don't, I don't know what Call of Duty wants me to do. With Black Ops 4, it, you know, it wants me to rush and, like, play super fast to get kills. Here comes Modern Warfare 2019. Now it wants me to be a barrel in the corner behind a door <laughs> you know here comes cold war where it's some hybrid between the two here comes vanguard where i'm skating around on like 
you know, 20 v 20 maps and then the game crashes because it can't handle the game would crash up until like if there was too much shit going on, the game would crash and they never fixed it. This is for console. This is when for... you lay it out like that, it does seem to have an identity crisis from does game it, to game. Like they're, 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 try, they're trying to reinvent their own wheel instead of just. Yeah, and, and the game's game good like Black Ops 4 used to be. <laughs> Yeah, like, the game come like, uh, there was a natural progression from Black Ops, and I say natural because if you played the previous game, you could pick up the new game and it feels familiar, but there's, like, something slightly new there. Yeah, so, it was a pretty big jump between Black Ops 2 and 3, but at yeah, least yeah. before Black Ops 3 was Advanced Warfare, so people were, you know, aware of the uh, yeah. advanced movement aspect. And Some it had fashion. less it had less movement it was just what was it like brush jumping and then wall running yeah That's it was it. it was it was a weird weird double jump and yeah. swaying and it was a little weird i wasn't really a fan of the movement in that game but i'm not uh, really a fan of black ops 3 in general to be honest <laughs> uh, I, I mean honestly that was one where uh black ops 3 was one that i i really fucking liked until they did the goddamn loot box shit but that's not that's not Treyarch. You know, they put weapons behind the goddamn uh, gambling system in that game. And um, didn't like that, but everything else I thought was great. I thought that was exactly how movement should be. Maybe it just played better on, on console or whatever. Uh, I mean, no, but, it played fine on, on a PC, but um, the meta was completely different. Yeah, yeah. PC oh, because the, the PO6 or whatever, like the snipers yeah. were fucking busted. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you know, like every every map, like the PO6 will dominate, and man, it's yeah, a map on, that I wasn't really a fan of, and so I just I just grinded Nuketown all on, day on console. Yeah, we did, we never even saw that fucking gun. Like the snipers were uh, really nerfed on console. Actually, like no aim assist whatsoever. Yeah, I think so. I think the two bolt actions had a minimal amount of aim assist mm -hmm. and. The Draken and the P06 had no aim assist. Like I've, like I'm sure you, I don't know how much you look into these uh, controller versus mouse and keyboard debates. Oh, it's it's insane. But, uh, yeah. I've gone, I've gone and wa I've and actually searched out like you know one of these uh, clips that goes viral of like you know some guys aim assist doing ridiculous shit. Yeah. And so I looked up to see if they played Black Ops 3 and if they used the P06. And, uh, <laughs> I saw that. I know people people can improve. Over the course of you know seven eight years, whenever that game came out, but uh, the difference is amazing. <laughs> oh, dude! And how they aim, aim with the gun with no aim assist versus what it is today. People people ask me like, uh, so I do I do. It, it depends on the game, but I will go from mouse and keyboard to controller. You know, depending on which FPS I'm playing. Like for for mouse and keyboard, I like uh, Payday Two. I like. I was gonna say, what do you play on PC besides Payday Two? <laughs> Pay, Payday Two, Half Life Two, like old school shooters, like Half Life Two, stuff like that. Um, Sounds like a bunch of Source Engine bullshit to me. Source Engine stuff. I like playing mouse and keyboard. It just feels better, you know. Like, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's. I basically I'll gravitate to whatever feels better, and there's no fucking debate. Like, it's also way easier with a controller. I mean. The aim assist was so dialed up, like they actually stealth nerfed it just recently. And it, this wasn't in the patch notes, of course, because why give us information? But oh, well, the fucking aim assist. Age of information censorship. Yeah, of course. We gotta have like four different YouTubers make eight different videos on things that devs should tell us. You know? And all four of them have their own different interpretation. Yeah, like the they gotta somewhere in, in between all of it. <laughs> they gotta test it by hand, like we're <laughs> they gotta test it by candlelight in their fucking studio. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you get five o'clock shadow there, and they look like Albert fucking Einstein hair over this. Why doesn't it work? Like what? This is not what they said. <laughs> it was so funny. I uh, I typically Smoking go. Smoking fucking pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now they got the they got a pocket watch. They pull out like the the time shit. You know, um, <laughs> they got to wind it and everything. But uh, you got the got the fucking advocate. <laughs> I sliding the fucking rocks from one side. <laughs> Keep it old school. We cheap the sawdust, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, sorry to derail your point. No, it's cool. No. Ace is like, well, according to my sundial, this uh, this gun takes 150 milliseconds to to sight in because we don't have the hard numbers. But no, um, the, the yeah, like they have to test all this shit by hand. We don't have the numbers. 
And the, God, what, what was the point? Now I'm just thinking about <laughs> these guys, t- like going by the like. Dude, you know, they stumped their the aim assist. The oh yeah, yeah, they I did. I haven't played right. since Saturday, and <clears throat> seemed pretty ridiculous to me. So I was playing on MW Roman numeral two there, and uh, I wasn't. I, I was doing all right, but I'm like, man, like my my aim doesn't feel as snappy as it did. So I just on a whim, I went to the the uh, settings or whatever. Up my sensitivity a little bit, and then put uh, the aim assist on Black Ops style, because I'm like, well, you know, I played Cold War last, let's put it on this. And I, I did that, and it was like, a um, fucking magnet. It was ridiculous. And yeah, then, your um, settings probably got reset in one form or another. That This game tends to like to oh. turn up my, uh, my, sh- my turn on my sharpness setting when I need it off for, for oh, more dude, frames. Let me tell you, I love when there's a new update, and then my volume settings reset and then it turns on motion blur so i get fucking nauseous upon like the first minute of the game until i'm like what's wrong with this fucking game like why does it look like this and i have to go turn on motion blur because the game has uh you know molested my settings against my will but yeah yeah every like every <laughs> every like three months play like, it's you boot boot up i'll boot up the game it's like oh this game's looking pretty blurry i guess they <laughs> reduced my resolution scale to 0.5 <laughs> <laughs> man they, they know what's best dude they're just trying to help you out they, but, uh, I, I wish they'd stop helping me i'd be better off for it oh dude they don't play their own game so that's not gonna happen they, they did change the they stealth nerfed the aim assist though and it's like it's more fair now like it's not as i mean no, I, it'll, ne- it'll never be fair that's what i'm saying it, yeah it, it it's more fair, fair but uh i will say and this is why i thought this dude was 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 hacking um, the guy I faced with the BR that would just like gravitate towards the head and headshot because I faced some really good players in my time. I faced some uh, really fucking good players on on Cold War. Um, I tried to play that game as legit as I could, and like just I, I just wanted to see if I could get to like the top, you know, whatever in that game. Even though I don't get anything, so what's the point? I just want to prove to myself I could do it. And um, sure. this dude, I think I, I think I got put into a, uh, you know, one of those like shadow ban lobbies because the lobby didn't fill up all the way, and this guy was just, I mean, maybe he was just insanely good. I don't know, but he was magnetizing and getting one shot headshots with this well, battle rifle. Call of Duty, there's there's always an asterisk. Like I, I've played against absolute killers. And I played in a blackout tournament, multiple blackout tournaments, and you know, Shroud and. Yeah, Huskers and Visions. And so you've all seen those other, all the, all those all those other mouse and keyboard freaks. Right, right. Doug, Dougie, uh, TP, <laughs> you know, all very capable mouse and keyboard players. And I would rather play against them, especially in that setting, because at least I get paid for my efforts. Right. <laughs> but this, the lobbies today are just are just so are frustrating beyond belief. And you know, with now we have you know it's over ten years now that. You know, people have proven that you know we can make money playing video games, right? Right. Like make, make an actual living. So, I mean, it, 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 with aim assist and like the level of cheating that is out there, um, I'm not accusing anyone specifically, uh, but you know, it, it's common in like the speedrunning community to like fake speedruns and get away with it. Like, yeah. uh, I remember reading a story just a few months ago, like the best Guitar Hero player that there ever was. Turns out he was cheating the whole time. It's making his videos. It's it's like fucking sports and steroids, man. At this point, really, at worse than that, actually, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Because if you cheat in a video game, it's I'm not entirely sure unless it was in a tournament setting. I've never heard of anyone giving any of the money back. Yeah, no, I could be. Like, I like, could... like if, if like if I wanted to get away with being a map hacker, I'm pretty sure I could. I could do it. It's so it. it'd, be, it'd be so easy. It's so easy to do, and then there are other things you can do that will never be detected, uh, like the Cronus Zen shit, um, which yeah. I, I still don't even know what. The, I sound like an old man, but I don't even know what the fuck that is. Still, like I don't know exactly it what it is. Basically, is is a thing that you you plug into a USB port, and it 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 acts as like a macro. Ah, I see. Okay, you can build your macros and stuff, and you can have it like you know account for each and every gun's single or like bullet by bullet recoil mm. pattern to make it shoot as much of a laser like possible. Or that, you could do like, you know, set up 
set up a, a macro to do like those one frame slides that I saw so much in Warzone. That's how the fuck are you quick enough to do that? Mm. It's gotta be a macro. Well, that makes, but, you know, that it, makes it, sense. It's, it's, some shy, it's some shyster level shit that should not exist. Like, I got shit back in the day because people thought I was using an auto fire controller. Yeah, no, same. Dude, no. We both got we both got accused of having a fucking modded controller for years. And like you fired faster than I did, and I'm like, I think, yeah, I think you did. <laughs> yeah, and that sounds about right, you know, there's like, oh well, I wonder what else X scaled does with that finger. Trust yeah. me, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh I went to a uh <laughs> this is off topic, but I went to a uh, <laughs> this is a good story. Oh to... we'll be better for it, I bet. Okay, okay. <laughs> I went to a uh, an arcade just recently, and um, shit, they still have the in your neck of the woods, really? Oh, we don't have or a lot. Or would you go to here. like a Dave and Buster's? No, no, no. We went to an I, I went to an arcade. I went to an arcade okay, with my an girlfriend. Actual, an actual genuine bona fide arcade. A genuine arcade, and I get in there, and there's this game. It's like it's not a it's not a test of strength game, but it's like you gotta hit it. You gotta hit this little thing and hit it just right, like with just enough strength. Right to hit the big jackpot. Like, uh, like, like you gotta be like fast and like a, a pressure sensitive it's, type deal. It's sort of like it's not about the it's not about how hard you hit it. You have to hit it with the exact amount of force it needs you to hit it at to get the jackpot. Otherwise, you hit it too hard, you don't get as much. You hit it too little, you know, you don't get as much. One of those type deals. And then speeds involved too, right? Or... Uh, no speed. No, it's just pressure based. So like, okay. you gotta right. just it's uh, gotta you, you be. Need, you need the magic touch here. Right. right. It's gotta be. It's really particular. And I hit this fucking jackpot on this thing like nine times. Got like, <laughs> got over 9,000 tickets, right? Took, took Sir, my. Sir, we're going to need you to leave. I was going to say, I went up to get the prizes. I wiped it. I wiped them the fuck out. And the guy's like, I've never seen somebody do this. And he's like, what do you do? And he's just like, this between you and me, did you cheat? And I'm like, dude. I jerk off a lot. I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm just, I'm I'm good at I'm good at dialing this in. Uh, it's just something. I, I'm I'm like autistically hey man, good at it. There's, 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 it's, that's good to be in tune with your own body like that. <laughs> yeah. Look, self self exploration is important in a young boy's life. <laughs> he said he'd never seen someone win that many tickets in one go, and I'm like. I, you know, I, I, I cleaned out their fucking prize pool. Got some big Donkey Kong plushies and, you know, Luigi, Mario, all kinds of shit. And I uh, wanted to go back, but I'm like, they're legit going to think I'm cheating if I go back and I I do even better. Like, they're going to... You gotta, you got to wait like six months before you yeah, can go back. I'm going to wait. Again. I'm going to come back in there with like a fake mustache and, you know. <laughs> um I but just grow one out. I thought you could do that. I can grow one out, but the fake ones, I mean, you know, it's a different color. So. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. That, I, that's what I told people back in the day. Like, man, like, I don't tell you. I can just move my finger fast. Like, I don't know. So. The fact that well, we're being at the very least, that, I mean, like, as far as the Cronus Zen and, like, third party stuff is concerned, they have, uh, they mentioned. Like just two about two months ago that Fortnite is banning that stuff. Okay. So hopefully hopefully that trickles downhill. Cause like during during the pandemic when I first found out about it, I was fucking blown away and I looked it up and it's relatively affordable and they had a waiting list for it. Mm. Like imagine like having a being on a waiting list for a fucking turtle beach back in the day. <laughs> or whatever. Oh man, I was uh this is funny. I was I was looking for some old boxes to ship some stuff off and I found my old Turtle Beach box, uh like the shipping box with the receipt and everything <laughs> like from 2010. Um that slight yellow tinge that that paper gets to. Oh, it was it was very faded. Yeah. I think I took a picture of it, but uh I could see like the shipping date like 2010, 2011, something like that. And um yeah, I mean, that was like the unfair, you know, kids playing on their fucking tube TV still with their <laughs> integrated, like, 1980s sound speakers and me with a turtle beach. That was kind of... I felt that I was mean, unfair. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, looking back, it's, you know, if you had a headset, that's an easy 2KD right there. Yeah, you, you got the W, <laughs> and then nobody knew how to put on dead silence or didn't want to. So, 
But now, um, well, before before algorithm based matchmaking and the you know it's like oh, this is your best this is the best setup for getting high frags and blah blah blah. Oh, I remember. It's, it's, it's like a whole like fucking self indulged fucking hive of Call of Duty content. Oh, you dude, you can't get away from the the quick tip quickies and the and the the pro tips and the all that shit, man. Um, now. Uh, Everybody's, uh, there's not much, the skill gap's been really lowered. I, I want to ask you this, by the way, I just made a video on this, um, do you notice, I don't want to, like, influence you at all, but do you notice footstep audio inconsistency in Warzone? Okay, so, <laughs> we were getting fired up about this, <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, yeah? about footsteps, and I can count on one hand the amount of times I've sound hoard people in Warzone. Okay. In three year in three years of playing it. Okay. And I had this I had this thing, a kill cam just the other day, of some guy, you know, he's creeping up on me. I don't hear him. Or or, or it could be vice versa. It's like, you know, people hear me from so far away, yet I've never heard anyone. And when I watch my kill cams, it's like I can hear my own footsteps a mile away, yet I've never heard anyone. Yeah. You know, it from that far. It's it's like, again, you know, it goes back to that, you know, feedback issue we opened up with. You know, it's, I thought I got sniped. No, I got fucking sprayed by an AR. It's yeah. Sort of like that, but footstep audio. Okay, so you you have experienced exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, I just covered this. Like, there was a guy on Reddit who said... <laughs> now, I'm not really, like, a conspiracy theorist, like, COD dude. I mean, I know the skill-based matchmaking, EOMM shit is... Yeah, that's a thing, obviously. And that's shitty. Well, I've, I've given up on the UMM and SP. It, it, it's an algorithm. Yeah, it's a shitty algorithm. It's, it's absolutely. Uh, like, I know that's... I, I know that's a thing, obviously, but uh, I'm not into the whole, like, they're nerfing you mid-gunfight or whatever. Is it possible? It is, but I'm not really, like... You know, I'm not really buying it. I don't, I don't think these devs are competent enough to fucking <laughs> do stuff <laughs> like that sometimes. They can barely yeah, type out a it'd sentence. Be like the, the technology that would go into like actually making the world seem flat is so much more advanced than any government is capable of. Yeah, exactly. like we really see Activision doing, being able to get away with something this intricate and actually get away with it. I mean, do you think these devs that wrote out this sentence allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk to him? Do you think those devs are capable of like this crazy fucking hidden shit? Like I, I think. Everything that's wrong with the game is just due to incompetence. Uh, so I think. No, no, it's like as 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 a PC player, like I will say, I, I do think there's absolutely something off, and I've noticed it since 29. Like there's inconsistencies in the gunfight, there's inconsistencies in the audio. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, this is client side. The client side smoke is back. I've seen oh, half a dozen of those kill cams already. That's but fucking I've, awful. Yeah. And. I, I don't even know if, like how many times I've done that to someone else because, I mean, if it was client side and it was never there, I'd never know. Yeah. You look like you're, you, it looks like you're hacking probably to them. And then if they report you, it's like you get in a fucking shadow ban lobby and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You get enough for, yeah, this guy can see through all the smoke. Like, what, what smoke, asshole? <laughs> yeah. No, it's really fucking stupid. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, some guy, some guy covered this on Reddit. He, he tested his, like, good player. He's testing in his regular skill-based matchmaking lobbies, and, like, footsteps just aren't really there for anybody. Like, occasionally you'll hear them, but mo for the most part, they're, like, fucking silent. They're not popping dead silence, you know, in the kill cam. It's just, they're just silent. And then he went and reverse boosted into little Timmy No Thumbs lobbies, and every he's, like, hearing footsteps sliding. He's hearing climbing. You know, like, he's hearing all this stuff he couldn't hear. And most people are like, ah, it's a conspiracy. And I'm like, no, I think, like, the the fucking sound engines just bog the fuck down. I think better players do more I mean, in the could, game. It's, it, it, there's so many factors that are working behind the scenes too. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it could be, you know, at a certain point with this many people on the map, it can't distribute yep. audio all that well. Like another thing too, it's like I've noticed, especially in the, in the bigger game modes, ground war, war zone, etc. Like if someone fires an unsilenced rifle at me. Sometimes I don't even hear it till it's too late. It's like, wait, that was unsilenced, and he was right next to my right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like it's the like, it's like, like, a... some, like it, it, I think it's something with these big like this happens in Battlefield too, though. If okay. Not to the extent that it does in Call of Duty, but I've I've had all sorts of audio issues. It's like, wait a minute, that guy 
sounds a lot closer, a lot further than he really is. And yeah, it's honestly, like feedback in this game is just not where it should be. It's like it's it's, it's, it's getting it's getting clogged. It's like a traffic jam or something. Like it's packet lost yeah, but for yeah, fucking it can, sound. It, it can only deliver proper audio to like seventy percent of the lobby. Yeah, I think and that's given honestly time, it. Like, yeah. If, like, you know, if there's, like, 18 gunfights going on at one time, it can only process, like, 12 of them properly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is getting super tinfoil hatty. I'm just, my own experience is, like, just the audio in general is not, not where consistent. it should be. Not consistent, yeah. It's not, like, it's not like every time I play this stuff, I'm blasting music in the background. So <laughs> I can't blame that. <laughs> and I do start off with some level of sobriety, so I can't blame that either. I was going to say, uh... Fucking okay, so you don't experience this, but this is a this was one hundred percent a thing, and I will, goddamn, I'll 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 fucking bet my house on this shit. I'm so confident it's a thing, but uh, Black Ops Cold War, all right, that right. entire fucking the entire time I have played that game, I would get some level of of demagnetization with the aim assist, that aim resist shit. It's it's like really only in Black Ops games, like you know Treyarch games, but it's a hundred percent like a fucking thing. Probably like leftover code of like how how like the aim assist used to work in Treyarch games, which typically yeah. was very little. It, it's <laughs> like there's no there's barely any aim assist across the board in Black Ops One and Two. In Black Ops One and Two, uh, I would st like in Black Ops One, it would happen like occasionally. Like the aim resist thing, black well, there's ops. There's always two. like sort of stuff like I mean, I remember some of those like weird issues where you know like two people go opposite paths and like you know, going one way it goes the other way, or it's, mm. you know it could be like some weird thing and like a guy's behind a wall behind the guy you're looking at and yeah, know, there's a the a conflict there somehow. So you know, I, I remember that. Yeah, so like there's always been inconsistencies, little little things, but like the fact that. I would actually, I actually brought this up, and I, I gave like a, an actual video example of like, uh, I mean, the aim assistant Call of Duty is strong now, and I'm, my gun's whipping back and forth like a fucking windshield wiper, as El Presidor once said, and uh, <laughs> my or, gun, you know, as the the the, uh, the, the aliens, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, whipping back and forth, and I would show that I showed this on like the subreddit, and then they just banned me, like, <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah, well. It's don't like you <laughs> no they don't no they don't so uh this gaming subreddits they're not worth interacting with but i you know every time i go there like if i'm if i'm showing a bug i'm respectful i'm like hey this is a problem can we get this fixed can we get this addressed even i don't if you can't fix it just tell me you know because it's driving me crazy like that's the main thing like um there's a oh speaking of old fucking black ops bugs there's a goddamn bug in the shoe house playlist now, where the lobbies don't fill up like it's Black Ops One, where like it'll never find new players to oh, put yeah. into the well, lobby. Oh yeah, when I went on my crusade, you know, tweeting at Vonderhaar for every day zombies matchmaking is broken. <laughs> I just wanted to play five with with Ram with Stranger. Yeah, no, it, it everything's it's fucking busted. Couldn't play with a friend last night. She doesn't own the game, and I'm like, you know what? It was her birthday, and I'm like, you know what? I would buy this game for your birthday, and like. So we could play DMZ, but I don't even know if that's gonna fix it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's so shitty. Uh, yeah, I hope she was. Like, yeah, I think I'd rather have like beer and steak instead of a copy of Call of Duty. <laughs> she said like, give it a week. If it's still not fixed, then I'll I'll take you up on that. You know, but because uh, I don't, I really don't want to give them any more money. It's the principle. I don't know. It's like the friends list list itself is buggy. It's like. Oh, it's they so bad. My boys tried asking me to, uh, like, host a party, and I finally found the menu where I can do that. You know, you gotta click, like, three different sub-menus and mm -hmm. start scrolling, and there is a lock icon next to all of their names, and we don't know why. Yeah, you have to reboot your fucking shit, your entire game, to fix that, usually. Uh, just some weird god, like, you're on a... They do these little stealth, like, fucking... I don't even know, like, stealth update push out things but they don't tell you so yeah it's the little secret live updates they push yeah. at like you know like 4 p.m or whatever on tuesday and when you do that and you're on like an old version it'll just lock the friends list until you reboot the game you know what i mean it's some weird shit like that um, yeah but i don't know what they're fixing it ain't much pushing those updates <laughs> out so 
Um, I hope they keep that proximity chat description forever because that's just hilarious. I'm gonna get that on a shirt. Allow, allow, allow you to allow you to hear people near by on your location. <laughs> just, allows to hear the opponent when he is close and to talk yeah, to him. Yeah, allows to hear. Like, wait a minute, does that? <laughs> Whatever. I don't. I don't know. It's a uh, big pile of shit. The whole point of this. Um, yeah, it's um. To veer off a little bit, it's like I've, I've been having so much fun playing Overwatch because at least, you know, I'm sweating for a reason. Yeah. No, you know? that's, dude, that's all I, that's all I've been asking. For. Like, again, you get this, the brain dead people that think you want to just beat up on, like, yeah, yeah, preschoolers all day on COD. Okay. Well, I mean, you but came up that. in the, the same generation I did. Those patches aren't easy playing alone because you got to carry five sandbags to, oh, to victory. I had such a weird gameplay last night because that, it was like the it was because the lobby didn't fill up. It was like one of those bugged fucking lobbies. So I got it was like me and this one other dude on the other team who was good as well. And then yeah. the rest of our team were god like both teams were god fucking awful. And <laughs> we Yeah, had, I've had yeah, I've, I've, yeah, usually when I see that it's like a game in progress like wait a minute like these yes. guys seem a little a little worse <laughs> than they should be. Yeah, it's it's always a game in progress. So yeah, what I will say this whenever the the game glitches out and it's like those it was like three v four the entire match like a headquarters game or three v five or something like that and I'm of course carrying the two dumbasses against the four dumbasses and the one good guy and that was a pretty fun match like the other guy I got a chopper gunner you know uh, I I got like several VTOLs. that's that was fun but like it's still not easy like I'm I'm having to try it hard in a fun different way for the other five people. They Two of you were having fun. They could have left. I'd argue those yeah. other five people probably didn't even know what was going on. Oh, dude, they're like <laughs> listening to fucking Wiz Khalifa, and they're they're high as a kite. They don't know what's happening, you know. Like <laughs> they're blasting music, and they they don't know what planet they're on. It's fine. They're having a blast. I'm carrying them, and the other guy's carrying his team. You know, like sometimes that happens. And uh, that was a fun lobby, though. And. That was probably the most fun I've had on the game. I didn't do... And then lobby shuffle, and then we'll yeah. never ha have that happening for another four or five months. Yeah, I got off right after that. I'm like, all right, I'm ending on a good note, and then I might not play for the <laughs> next three days because that was fun. Yeah, I went like 85 and 22. He went like 40 and 15 or something like that, and it was, it was good. Oh, uh, look at the humble brag there. I mean, that's... What's that, like a 4K D? Or, it's not that great. Um... It was fun, though. This other guy's pretty good. Only got 40 kills, though. He did get less kills. What can I say? <laughs> I was... I mean, his team was awful. So, he, he had... My team was bad, but he had less people to shoot. Because never filled yeah. the fuck up. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I, would, I just want something... Something to show that I got to the upper echelon. I got to... I, I bring up this example all the time, but, um... You know, I played Pokemon Showdown Beta, and I played... Hearthstone, and like in those games, you face better competition, but you rank up and you get something. Yeah, but those, to show. those games are are predicated as like you play this game to progress through a ranked ladder. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I I enjoy. I mean, that. not to say that I'm sure there are people out there you know who play the casual play. Do they even have casual playlists in in those uh, like? Yeah, you know, fuck around, try out new decks, you need no yeah. stakes or anything. Yeah, in Hearthstone you can play casual, no ranks, just fucking play, do whatever you want. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. you can do that. In uh, yeah, it's like you know, just the problem is like, it's, they've been harvesting our stats for so long, especially if you've done any of those uh, like you know lifetime Treyarch stats or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, so they they had they had a little war the my Warzone legacy going on, and I did that just because I wanted to see. My, my fucking ethnic Joe Rogan skin. I'm the <laughs> yeah. only person who used that. Yeah. I just wanted to see if it'd give me that, and it did. And it remembers that the people I've played my first match of Warzone ever with. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why the fuck do you have that information? It's... It was three, three years ago. I played in a trios with fucking Sandy and Kyle Long. <laughs> and I'm like... Uh, trios really Kyle Long was my first match that I played with why do you know that yeah dude it, it <laughs> I keeps probably it... know how much money I make every year before I do really <laughs> um yeah it, it tracks all the way back to 
when MW 2019 or whatever. Um, yeah, and speaking of in- inconsistencies, there was an era during Cold War mm-hmm. where, uh, like, you know, the, the boys wouldn't get on for, like, you know, another one or two hours, so I'd, I'd boot up some zombies. Yeah. And the Cold War zombies was, was pretty solid. Uh, not not like the old days, but, you know, it was, it oh, was I liked it. and I had, I had fun with it. I played it more than multiplayer, that's for fucking sure. So. <laughs> yeah, me too. But uh, there was this issue where I, I'm pretty sure for, like, a three-month period, it was integrating the shit I was doing in zombies into the general matchmaking algorithm for a competitive multiplayer. <laughs> so, you know, you're playing zombies and you're, you're shooting things that are running at you in a straight line, mostly headshots, you know, probably, you know, like 40 or 50% accuracy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you get, this, you know, crazy KD rate because you're killing zombies. So you, you come in with crazy accuracy, crazy headshots, and, you know, like a 5,000 KD. Dude. Some of those matches, it's like when I came in back into Verdansk after playing Zombies, were some of the sweatiest fucking lobbies <laughs> I've ever played in. Yep. And we we have we have, we had another guy that we we would bring in like if I couldn't show up, this guy would like fill in and he he would play Zombies too. Mm. Same thing. I wouldn't. They had some of the hardest matches it, that they've ever played with him, and you know he's not as good of a multiplayer player as I am. Mm-hmm. So there was something there for a little bit. Well, you'll be happy to know I have some some information that might verify that. Uh, so they they added combat record into MW Roman numeral two with this last update, but did they, they did nice of them. they did, but they fucked it up. Of course, <laughs> you can go. I swear to God. I mean, unless they fixed it, you can go into private match, and everything you do in the private match will be tracked on your combat record, like it's a public match. I mean, like, you mean like that thing where. Ever since the combat record first got introduced, you go into a private match. This match will not count against your stats. Right, they they fucked that up. So it's probably tracking you in private games with your friends if you're wanting to do that, or against bots even. So it's it wouldn't surprise me if it fucking, you know, had it. No, it was in, that happened that happened with like two of us, and like you know we go we go look in the Warzone stat tracker, and like any anything above like. A 1.2 KD lobby in in Warzone is going to be pretty tough. And like when we would do this stuff, you know, one of us fills in from zombies, they'd be like 1.6, 1.7. Like we're actually playing against some of the best people on the fucking planet. It doesn't make any sense because you see, like, you know, the top Warzone streamers, and you know they're doing what they do, and they're playing in 0. 0.6 all the way up to 0. 0.1. It's like, yep. for a while. I, I tracked this for a while. I wonder how many. I wonder how many. Lobbies this guy gets that's that's above like 1.4 compared to us and no they never got into those lobbies. Yep. Know. And the worst part about um, it is uh, if they just in- implemented a fucking you know like little tryhard badge or something, you could see who's in the lobby without having to do detective work after. You know what I mean? Like generally speaking. This would fix. Yeah, it's. I mean, there's, there's no creeping on stats. You gotta, you gotta go to the recent players and find out their eight-digit hashtag number, and then type yep. that into some foreign website. That's... Yep. <laughs> type it into like uh, AliExpress.com for your free mail-in stat report on this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shady. It's very shady, and I don't like shady things. Like, give me the fucking data. You got the data? Give me the fucking data. Why are you hiding it? I mean, they're they're proud of their algorithms. I'll always make fun of that dev from Black Ops. Uh, skill-based matchmaking did absolutely exist in Black Ops, so I should know. I wrote the code. Like, I've got about 500 videos that prove that is not skill-based matchmaking. Mm-hmm. Skill-based team balancing, yes. If you're talking about the rank playlist and you somehow forgot to make that distinction, that's on you, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get away with using the KSG in any of those zombies <laughs> if it was skill-based matchmaking. I, I think I told you this, but uh, I went on this big fucking win streak on Black Ops 4, and all I did... Oh, I, re- I remember yeah. that. I, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you got up to like 180s or something. And then no, it was like, it was like 320-something, I think. Oh, well, oh, well all right, I was, I was halfway off. I was going, like, I was going hard, and uh, I was getting a lot of views, you know, because people were like, whoa, like, and all, all I was doing was just partying up with people from stream. I mean, I do have really good stream viewers as well, you know, but we weren't, like, doing oh, call-outs. There's, there's, or... there's freaks that hang out in every chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but even if they weren't available, I'd just be like, hey, let's party up, like, whoever's fucking on, you know? Um, 
yeah. most people that watch us are probably pretty competent if they've watched us for a long time, you know, at FPS. So they, they, they hop in and like, uh, there will be a few challenging games, but for the most part, it's just like we're steamrolling and we're not communicating. I'm playing music while I'm doing it, you know. Uh, I'm just talking to chat, not talking to you, you know, anybody in the on my team. We're not doing MLG fucking sweat callouts. And that watch ends. Watch, watch, watch it, elevate, ele elevate, ele yep. elevator. Elbow, Order elbow, switch, switch, switch. Elbow, <laughs> knee, kneecap. Guy at wounded knee, guy at wounded knee. Like fucking <laughs> stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that went for 320-some wins in a row. And some matches were close, very close. Um, you know, butt puckered a little bit. But uh, it ended because of a dev error. Like, if yeah, you, if I, you, I remember that. Yeah, if you say, like, that shit is the same as what we have even a year later with Modern Warfare 2019, like, you're a fucking idiot. I don't know what else to tell you. It's not the fucking same even from that year to the next year. It's just not. Like, <laughs> you know, there's... I don't know. Uh, it's Modern Warfare 2019 introduced the algo. Yep. So, like... Pandemic started, so everyone around the world got told to stay the fuck home. So, and the yep. algorithm, great, great timing on the release. The pandemic, everyone's got to stay home and shit. Everyone, yep. So, everyone plays video games. What mm -hmm. are they going to buy? Oh, it's a brand new Call of Duty. You know, that's as mainstream as it gets as far as the video game goes. And I love how they brag. They made, they made money hand over fist and... I, I changed the uh, I changed the formula, <laughs> yeah. and I fucking called it out with 2042. It's like they're gonna copy so much from Modern Warfare 2019 because they want to cash in on that too. And yep, look how that fucking game turned out. There's more people playing BF1 than there is in 2042 <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, they tried to just uh, they tried a bunch of new scummy shit with Vanguard. Uh, you didn't play that, did you? Like at all. I, I I used it to level up guns for Warzone, mm -hmm. but I I only played the uh, the meat grinder play, you know. Yeah. Shoot house, da, das who's Danhausen and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My I favorite. I only played Danhausen and and shipment. It's just strictly to level up guns, cause yeah. Somehow, like I I always do pretty well in the meat grinder maps, mm -hmm. so you know it's 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 easier for me to turn my brain off. Right. You know just grind out fucking four hours of shitty attachments well get this shit um so they tried a bunch of new scummy shit probably way after you stopped playing but they had that debacle fucking mvp screen right oh oh, oh i know all about that yeah no 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 it gets worse it gets worse did you see <laughs> the shit it's even better <laughs> did, did you see shop, <laughs> all right i gotta drop lord of the rings that's okay that's okay <laughs> did you see that shitty fucking PNG kill cam shit they did? Oh, oh, like they, they'd have the microtransaction borders and like mm -hmm. you could actually see like the grains because they just they, they upscaled it to like Oh, it you know, looked I, like I play on 1440p and you know, people oh. always say oh, like Call of Duty's got fucking great graphics you know, it takes 300 gigs and here you've got this fucking this PNG that's probably been fucking downloaded <laughs> and reposted like 14 <laughs> times they, before they, it, it, it made it made it to the end end screen there. They stole it from like PNG.com or whatever, yeah, and then downloaded like the fucking free version, 800 by 600 <laughs> pixels, and then upscaled it. Yeah, uh, yeah, like they did that, and it was the it looked like the fucking Doom UI over a new game. You know, it looks so fucking shit, and you have to watch it. Like, if you die in a kill cam, like, you know what I mean? Unless you just hammer X and skip yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't like, uh, like, people were just doing, like, they just quit during the, the, they quit before the game ends just to avoid that. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> yeah, the yeah, MVP it, screen. Two, yeah, yeah. Two minutes of unskippable crap. And they still never fixed the, the play of the game. It's just. Oh, it's still broken. Yeah. No, you couldn't join people at a certain point. You couldn't play with friends at all. I think it might still be broken, actually. Uh, packet burst from the moment I fucking booted that game up till the moment I threw it in the goddamn trash. Packet burst. Just, I mean, like we, that, that game was just like a guinea pig, uh, fucking simulator. Like, what can we do? What, like, what's the scummiest, stupidest fucking shit we can do to monetize this game and get away add with it? Add lasers and anime skins to our World War II game. Oh, I remember when Grandpa told me about his, uh, you know, chibi war buddy that. Um, Helped him out and said, ooh woo. Oh my gosh, Gunnery yeah. Sergeant Senpai. Look at me. <laughs>
they added in, um, it, you know, I will give them this. They did add in somewhat period correct stuff with like Attack on Titan at first. And then they just said fuck it, and I think it was just the chibi. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, then, then you had then you had new new dudes running around. Yep. Warzone. That, that was our that was our call out for the fucking new, Reiner. New dudes. Skin. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of, one of the characters that he transforms to this big titan called the Armor Titan, and it's pretty much just, he's just covered by armor plates, no clothes. So we just so it looks like a new dude. So we just called it the new. Du- we got new dudes hit. New dudes hit. Yep. I think at that point I, I was already done. So, uh, I think I quit in January. Yeah, because they added in that fucking incendiary grenade that was like a oh, kill yeah, streak. Oh yeah, yeah. There was um. Yeah. I grinded a couple weapons. And that was going on. It was they last like ten seconds. Every time any every anyone gets thrown, it shakes the. It screen. shakes <laughs> the fucking screen. Yeah. No, I got <laughs> nauseous. I got, literally got nauseous playing the fucking game. So I'm like, I can't do it. It's so. like what are the like okay I'm not against this thing existing but you know maybe on shipment it shouldn't be enabled again maybe it should be vaulted for certain maps and game modes you know the, the devs don't play their own fucking game and I, who could blame them like who could blame them it sucks <laughs> why would they play just, it it was there to get paid there to get paid <laughs> and, and, and they're 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 hoping not not receive one of the hourly beatings <laughs> they're like I, I picture the dev team is just like the fucking APA or something in the back and then Bobby Kotick calls him out when he wants them to add like a fucking shitty PNG image and then they go back to playing cards you know and drinking so I don't know. Yeah, they, they probably do bring in JBL and Ron Simmons <laughs> just to fucking smoke cigars and drink whiskey and fucking play hold them <laughs> well they're not playing the game so you know and then you know Bobby Kotick you know tells them that they got a job and Ron said just damn <laughs> Then everyone in the office buttholes puckers a little bit. And someone gets <laughs> spine busted. <laughs> you know, that would be way more entertaining than whatever fucking games they're shitting out. So, in fact... J- JBL comes out with his music clacking his fucking cowboy boots and just gives someone a clothesline for help. <laughs> Here's what I don't get. Did you... They put Krampus in Warzone, right? Oh my shit. dude, that okay, okay. The gimmick modes they put in Warzone are the worst fucking things. Yeah, yeah. You know, at, le- at least in Fortnite, it kind of works because you know Fortnite is gimmicky and it's cartoon by default. It's fun. So yeah, it's fun. Like you know, it's it's like, like, you know it's, it's, all the kids play Fortnite. They really do. Well, yeah. I don't know if they still play it, but you know oh, that, yeah. that that you know like Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet. And, you know it's. We live in a universe where you can play as Goku, The Rock, Luke Skywalker, and John Wick all on the same team. So, you know, it's... And it, it, the game was never that serious to begin with. So, you know, it's... But in Warzone, yeah. So Krampus <laughs> would just spawn randomly. And if he was on your team, you'd have to deal with him because he wouldn't leave you the fuck alone. And you dealing with it makes noise. Yeah. Making noise attracts people, and all of a sudden you're dealing with this stupid fucking PvE bullshit, and then, you know, a team rolls up on you, and, well, that was a waste of 15 fucking minutes of all of our time. And Warzone, you can't, you know, you can't really respawn. It's not like a multiplayer mode, even, where, like, okay, Krampus killed me. That sucks. I was on a streak, but, like, I, I respawned. I mean, it's, pos- you know? it's possible to, re- to recover, but, yeah, yeah. like, it's, it's one thing for the mode to exist. Yeah. It can exist. That's fine. Just give me regular the basic playlist where I can just play Warzone quads. But when that shit was going on, yep. Now they put them in multiplayer I, too. I had forgot about yeah. Krampus. No, no. I I bringing that up because they might bring that motherfucker back in the next month. Uh, and I'm like, wait, who who was asking for this? Wait, I thought I thought the people were like, yo, it's so fucking realistic, man. It's like I shot this guy nine, I shot this guy nine times, and he still fucking killed me. Yeah. But but Krampus is okay. Like, where where's the outrage for fucking Krampus? I, I no, think I outrage. That, that the existence of that would be like something that unifies everyone. You know, old people, oh, teenagers, man. fucking boomers, skill based enthusiasts, people who hate the algorithm. It'd be something everyone can agree upon, but didn't seem like it when he came out in multiplayer and he would just randomly appear and go after some random motherfucker i was like yeah nope yeah yeah nobody likes that and i i like in 
fucking five minutes, dude. I'm not saying this to sound like a goddamn genius, but in five minutes, I was just thinking, and I was like, why not just make him a kill streak? Why not make him a fucking kill streak? Like, make him replace dogs. You know what I mean? Like, make him a 10 kill streak or something, fucking Vanguard. Yeah, like multiplayer. I heard that suggestion somewhere. I don't know if it was from you or someone I was playing with. I think I thought of it first, but I don't want to take credit if I didn't, so... Um, <laughs> I think I thought of it first. Somebody correct me if somebody... Yeah, that, that'd be okay. Yeah, repl replace a kill streak with your holiday gimmick, and... Yeah. You know, not just, you know, like, oh, someone's on a streak, and then Krampus spawns on him and fucking tears his face off. Well, that was... Really he's great. He's got like ten thousand health. So. Yeah, yeah. In Warzone, it takes an effort to kill him, and like yeah. you know, depending on where your, you know, what your situation is, you don't have that kind of ammo. Because if you waste all the ammo yeah, killing Krampus, yeah. and you have to, your next gunfight, it's, you know, you could be washed. And it goes back to that whole identity crisis shit. Do Do you want me to sweat my balls off and face clones of myself? You know what I mean? Or do you want me to beat up or this we can fucking sit here and jerk laugh off? About random ass fucking Krampus. Where I yeah. don't even know where the fuck that's from to begin with, since I don't watch any movies. I think it's just the so. old legend. Uh, like, I, I mean, there's a Krampus movie. I think that's when it kind of, kind of like came about. But you know, um, I don't. know. It's fucking stupid. If if you want, okay, here's a holiday theme idea. When you call in the goddamn uh, emergency airdrop, have Santa drop fucking the care packages yeah and some of the care packages can have coal in it too yes on that. there you go you there's can, you, you, you can throw at someone for one damage and then post it on your tiktok when it gets the cure there by christmas coal man yeah that dude we do hire us like there we go there's your billion dollar fucking idea that doesn't impact the game like every fucking time you know what i mean like it's optional you don't want to you don't want to get that like don't fucking run it don't run emergency airdrop you know like, yeah, there you go. It's... Easy. Yeah, and there was that, that King Kong and Godzilla stuff, which was... I think at the very least we could go back and play the, the regular Warzone quads because, like, it was just so absurd. Yeah. Was like, you know, you get these, these two giant fucking kaijus. King Kong on the fucking mountain throwing rocks and Godzilla coming from the ocean doing fucking atomic breath and stuff yeah it, you know I, I think i think they kept that to the, or maybe we had to play like trios or something but it's and it's like who who asked for this like what are we doing here <laughs> well you see it and you think okay like this seems cool maybe but then they're just like fucking mannequins that stand there <laughs> from what i saw well, it's like, well it's, you, you get king kong like you there are streaks you can you could find where it's like okay you could like take control of king kong and throw like an actual set of boulders at people which i do remember killing some people with which was pretty funny but like i'd hate to have that happen to me oh like, well yeah. i guess we got outplayed king kong just threw a fucking boulder <laughs> at us that was i just don't, I don't understand think a trophy system works against that i just don't understand why they don't go back to the cod formula with we're like you have to earn these crazy things through like kill streaks. It's, it's something basic, but Dude, like in Warzone, Warzone has got a big issue with that right now. So we had a match uh, recently. It's, it came down on the wire. We got wiped out by the last team. This last team, like we downed them, like three to four times each. So like these people either had like so many self revives in stock. Like self revive is a powerful thing. It should be rare, but everyone you down has one. They're not hard to find, and you can buy them from some of the buy stations. Right. And on top of that, you could pick it up from other people's bags too. So there's gonna there's gonna be a game that someone gets out there where they're gonna down people like five, six times. They're all gonna get up, and they're gonna, they're gonna get launched at by like sixteen kill streaks because you could stow these things before. You can only have one at a time, but now you can stow kill streaks and self revives. And uh. the border barrage is absurdly annoying <laughs> in Warzone 2.0. It's like nine fucking missiles that last like a minute. <laughs> like in these tiny zones. Like it, it's gonna have, someone's gonna have five five mortar strikes at the end of the game, all, all in pocket, and you'll have nowhere to go. Uh, they, so wait, 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 hold on. You're telling me, like theoretically, they could have like seven mortar strikes and like six self revives just all in their fucking well, maybe pocket. not that many okay you'd have to okay. find you'd have to find a backpack which backpacks are hard to come by but i only play squad so right. a, a squad in its entirety of four people could have six self revives and seven kill streaks between them that's entirely possible right 
Okay. And yeah. So, yeah I, I see. Like these, these these things are incredibly powerful, and there shouldn't be so many of them on the map. You should kind of have to earn them. Right. You should. No, you should. Uh, I completely agree. No, and... yeah, like it, it's it's classic BR, like H one Z one. You know, it's like the progenitor of all BRs, pretty much. It's one of the first ones out there. Like the the strongest things in that game, like laminated armor, one shot sniper rifles, um, would come in an airdrop that everyone can see. And after it lands, it gets constantly strafed by bombers. Mm -hmm. Not only is it risk to go for it, you know, it's a risk in more ways than one. People see it land, it's got high tier loot, everyone's going to be going for it, and you have to weave in and between uh, bombs coming from the sky. Right. But, you know, it's th these maps are so huge right now, and you fight AI strongholds, and there could be no one next to you for like a 10 minutes run. Yeah. So it's when just you do one of the, when you do one of these PV things, you know, it spits out tons of stuff. It's just random, and then not only that, but you bring up the mortar. Um, is it just me, or has the fucking mortar strike just been the biggest goddamn annoyance in every Call of Duty, like <laughs> ever? Cause... Well, I mean, in Black Ops One, you love to see it because it was useless. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, how can we make this better? Uh, it's just the no. Even if your team does it, it's annoying. Cause like it shakes well, yeah, your fucking you got, screen. You get and... screen shake. Yeah. It gets... Why and am it... I getting screen shake from stuff my teammates are doing? Yeah, even in World of I War, didn't I think have it was. I have a mortar strike dropped on me by this asshole. Exactly. And you could do that shit on shipment and fucking Vanguard, so it was miserable. Oh, the screen shake. I, I I legit think people that played that game like all year are are masochists. There's no, uh, there's just no way. Like, I don't know. It's so bad. Well, here here we are, years later, yeah. talking about it willingly when we could have talked about something fun like AEW this past weekend. <laughs> that was a good pay-per-view. That was a fucking good pay-per-view. Uh, you know, I actually thought the best wrestling match on the card was Tony Storm and Jamie Hayter. I agree. I got so into that, dude. Yeah, cause... I was like, wait, wait, this is actually a really good wrestling match. I thought the finish got a little sloppy with the run-ins, but like up until that point, it was a really good match. It built drama. Uh, so me and my friends, we, we hate Tony Storm. We just think she's fucking boring. Like, she doesn't really do anything. I don't know. <laughs> Like, they let her talk once, and like, oh, eh, so, we're not going to do that again. Oh, she's so bad. She's okay. Yeah, she, that's the thing. It's like, she's she's okay, but she shouldn't be being booked yeah, like she's the like fucking... Serena Deeb level. Yeah. You know, she, like, I don't mind watching her wrestle, but it's, it's not someone you're going to have at, like, the top. Yeah. And Jamie Hayter's like... Jamie Hayter's got a swagger to her. She's She's got the... I don't know. She's total package. And I'm like, man, she's got to fucking win the belt. She's got to win it. And then they, they start booking... Tony Storm like the Undertaker, making her take like fucking belt <laughs> shots and finishers on chairs and shit, and she's still kicking out. And I'm like, nobody recorded it, but I'm like, it's me and my friends watching, and I'm like screaming like, what the fuck? Like, kill, like why won't you die? Well, yeah, why won't you die? <laughs> like Lori and Michael Myers here, like through the TV, and uh, yeah, and then Jamie Hader won, and I'm just like, I don't know, that was probably the most amped I got all night. So I, I, I agree. I got, I got pretty, I got really into that. Uh, but the whole, whole, whole match card, whole uh, night was very good, very, very good stuff. AEW doesn't really miss on pay per view, so. Yeah, I mean they, they go all crazy. It's a little more flippy than I like, but uh, you know, it's, it, it's an excuse to hang out with, with the boys. So. Yep. We drink a bunch of beer and talk shit. So. Yep. We started a thing here, um, called wrestling with the boys. And, I mean, girls can come, too, you know, if they want. But <laughs> it's wrestling with the boys. Yeah, and, uh, someone's girlfriend or wife, you know, if, if they happen to be in the house, they could stay. Most of my friends, uh, most, of my, most of my friends' girlfriends' wives, they skip it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I understand. It's yeah. not, not everybody's cup of tea, but, um, you know. Why does he let him do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, this is a great pay-per-view. Great pay-per-view. And, um. I'm personally There's excited. much worse ways to spend spend the night. Yes, agreed. Like playing Warzone. Yeah, uh, you know what? I didn't play. Yeah, you know, I actually did a D and D session, a big long D and D session. Oh, tabletop gaming is fun. Oh yeah, I did that before the pay per view. Like really, just I transitioned from one to the other. Perfect timing, you know. And yeah. uh, it was one of the. It's like the best day I've had since Modern Warfare Two came out. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't play a single fucking bit of it. All day. Didn't think about it. Didn't think about it. Didn't play it. 
took my one yeah, day until off. Until he realized he had a good day. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. had a good day, and I know why. <laughs> I went to bed that night, woke up refreshed, and I'm like, god damn it. And here we go. So... <laughs> Hey, at least to make well, money I think, from it. I think that'll be a good good point to cut it off. I yep. think we've been shooting the shit for about an hour. I got I got things I need to do that don't involve modern warfare. Yeah, I gotta cook me some fucking dinner. Myself. But All right. uh, I hope it's a little meat and potatoes. A little bit of meat and potatoes. But yeah, man, <laughs> thanks for coming on. It's always All a right, pleasure. The, the, the infamous BT and whatever the fuck you call your people. You know me. I'm out of here. Po, 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 po. See you. Do